Hey guys and girls, how is it going? And welcome back to another episode of Utopia with myself, Lewis. And there is one swanky gentleman stood behind me wearing some beautiful armor. Check that out! That is Dudart wearing his power armor. Oh yeah. Yay. <laughs> the first update for the Utopia server went ahead. If you didn't look on the Twitter, I did uh, copy Nemson's tweet that we are now on version 1B which means we've had the power suits added, we've dropped portal guns for lag purposes, and a couple of other improvements and gizgasmos and thingamajubes like that. So today, Duda has been very kind, because this update's only been on it for, what, like an hour or so? Two, three hours? An hour, yeah, something like that. Max, like, as soon as we found out about it, Duda shot on the server and made us both power suits. <laughs> Yee. Oh my They're god. Not too expensive, are they, so... When you eat, your arm comes out of your suit. Like, literally, like, it. rips for, rips your... Yeah. Ooh. Well, you can't Ooh. do it now, can oh. you? Oh, I've just glitched out. Yeah, I'm, I'm all full. You're a full man. So, Dudart's made me a suit, which we can see in here. And he's already put a load of upgrades on it. So, he's been very kind and made me a bunch of upgrades that he's got. And then, we've also got the uh, ion thrusters so we can put jetpacks on. Because, uh... We've been supporting the electric jetpacks for a bit and been trying to hold clear of using any nano stuff because we knew this was going on here. Yeah, but this just looks derpy, doesn't it? Yeah, like wearing that full-on Iron Man suit is the best. Yeah, that is the don. They look so good. Okay, right, so I'm going to go ahead and fix my things on. So what was the first one that you put on, Dudar? Uh, I think I put on the, the, the sprint shift thing. And the full damage what's its The full damage what's its Shock yeah. absorbers. Yep, that's right. the one. Shock absorbers done. And the uh, sprint assist on the legs as well is what I did. Sprint assist. Did you put it all up to the top? Oh no, no 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 no. What did you put it as? I've got let me see, my shock absorbers right to the max. Yeah. And then the sprint assist, the top one, the compensation, that's right at the top. Yeah. And then the power one I made it so that my sprint went up to about 150%. And my walking went up to about 120%. That's what oh, I've okay. done. And it's not like stupidly quick. It's but just nice and manageable. It's acceptable. Yeah. All right, I'm going to you... throw the jetpack on. Ooh, ooh, jetpack. You're getting a little jetpack, are you? Yeah. You've had all the jetpacks out of the chest. Boom. Yeah, they're in my inventory. <laughs> Thank you, monkey. Did you use elite batteries? You did, didn't you? Yes, I did. All right, and we're at IC2 tier 3 now, so that's all the way up. Did you, see, did you see that comet just hit? No. Was that one of the moon ones? Yeah. Nice. I'll be, I'll be. You, you're going to grab it? Yeah. All right, so that is it, I think. Oh, I was going to throw some armor on. I was going to put an energy shield on, so I'll throw one of those on an energy shield Whoop. nice so the energy shield in the chest plate gives you six armor points basically and uh, it costs 500 jewels per hit so that's pretty cool um and we've got i've got another stuff to put on i've got another hp capacitor so i'm probably going to put on another battery because this is going to use quite a bit so i'll put another elite battery on these okay. are the biggest batteries and they hold what is it five million each yeah they they do hold a ton all right and i got 1.5 m so there we go Whee. <laughs> <laughs> you look pretty cool i yeah. think i'm i think i'm gonna hold off from using the um power fist for the time being because i'm quite happy with my tinker tools to be honest I've grown quite attached to mine. I like them. Yeah. Like, the fists are cool. You can use the lights and uh, you can... Uh, what was the other one you like, do that? The plasma balls. The plasma cannon. And I don't know if this one has the railgun and stuff on it, but the problem is they um, they they put loads of heat onto your uh, plating, which can cause an issue, and then you start setting on fire, which is never good. Whereas the Tinker Tools, are like, we've got auto repair, so there is really no difference, and they don't need power in then either. So really they're just as good and because we've got haste and luck and all that sort of stuff on it We've got some pretty decent speeds 
I think. All right, so we've done loads of stuff. So I'm gonna give you like a little update basically because you're probably thinking this looks slightly different to the last video where we literally just had the red tower. So we've done quite a bit. I'm gonna be bringing my videos out more as updates until we get some of the main packs installed for the time being. Oh, we've got a friend at the door, I think. Okay. There's somebody at the door. And he's dead. Yeah, so we've got uh, we've got a lovely tree farm now, which is good, and we're keeping to using photovoltaic cells for this because this guy, like, I, I didn't, I, I wasn't too sure how much power this was going to use, but this farm uses literally nothing to run. Like, we could probably run it off one solar panel if we wanted, and those are only one Minecraft jewel per tick. I'm going like, to nab a couple of these off and stick them on top of the red tower. Yeah, do it. And uh, inside here, this is, so this is my biscuit. So this is the uh, the giant Oreo. And inside, we're going to have technical gizmos. So, Doodart started working on an AE system for us, which is all set up and good. And that's uh, inputting all our wood, which is nice. We've got like 6,000 bits of wood. Uh, I've started working on a um, on a crafting assembler, which is good. But they, those take some time because they're pretty expensive. And over here, we have a CSU and we have an MFE which are slowly charging. We've got it kind of now that all of the stuff in here holds charge during night even though he's in solar panels which is good the, so. the reason that mfe is really low is because i charged my suit in it yeah and it, it just ate it all it'll go back up though which is nice oh yeah it will um in the last episode as well i remember showing that we started doing a ender farm which was pretty rubbish yeah it was pretty poor so we've got a much better farm design now which Duda and Nemson have been working on they spent a whole day basically working on this and it's really really snazzy so let me show you how it works and then I'll show you the workings of it so basically if you stand around here endermen are gonna come in how many spawns have you got in there now two two cool so stand around here endermen are gonna come in here now you're probably thinking well, there is nowhere for these guys to come in from. Where are the spawners? Is this like something out of Stargate? Well, it actually is pretty close to that. So they spawn in, you kill them, you get the pearls. You can leave some lapis yet. No one's left us lapis yet, so. Yeah, no. Can only hope one day. There's yeah. a, uh, <laughs> there's an ender um, hopper here which sucks up all the bits and you can configure that for however you like. We did have an XP uh, tank on here as well, sucking up XP. But I'm going to wait until we get the next open blocks update in so we can use uh, use it in a different way. So, mm -hmm. would you like to show us the workings of your ender farm, dude? Like, it's actually very funky. Sure. Well, you, you don't take full damage these days, do you? So, nope. you, you can just drop in. But if you want to come down into here, okay, whoop, I'll go right to the bottom. Yeah. I made it. And you can start there and go, look, there's the spawners. So, guys, look, here's some spawners. <laughs> so these are two of the soul shards uh, spawners that Dudas rigged up here. And they're constantly turned on unless you pull the switch, which will turn them off. Now, what happens here is the Enderman spawn, as long as you're within, I believe it's like a, I think it's a 12, is it 12 or 15 block radius? 16, I think. 16, so 16 block radius and they will spawn. And as soon as they spawn, they'll drop into a mistcraft portal down here. Or attack me if I'm standing down there. Or try and beat you up, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so they'll fall into here. Did Nemson keep it so they keep velocity? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So the, the reason for this is that we want to make it so that when they fall into the portal and come out the other side, they've dropped a certain amount of blocks so that they literally... I think at the minute it's three punches to kill one, isn't it? It is, yeah. And uh, that's pretty much how it works. So they fall in here, Mistcraft portal, drop over there. Obviously, the book was created up next to where the uh, Stargate-looking thing was. And that's how it works. And why have we got the water? What's the reason for the water? Because, uh, you know, Endermen can teleport. Yeah. Well, no, they can't. Not anymore with all this water here. Is it they can't teleport if they can't see it? So I'm taking they can't see through water. No, it's because Endermen hate water. You know that, don't you? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't yeah. take a teleport. And so, like. so they're, they're not going to teleport through the water because they'll hit the water and go, Psst, uh, They're scared of it. <laughs> so that is how this works. It's pretty funky design. It's the first time I've seen someone do it as well. Yeah, give it a bash. So if we were to go into the portal, I don't know if I want to do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how I get out of here. Whoop. We'll come down to there. That is an awesome design. Pretty funky. Yeah. Oh, there we go. So it should take one, two, three. Boop. 
practical beans. And then once we leave, even though this area is partially chunk loaded because we're about, they're still not going to spawn in masses because of the vanilla um, spawning rules that govern the new soul shards spawners. Yes. yes. That was very hard for me to get out for some reason. Yeah, you made it. You made it. <laughs> I did it somehow. So that's pretty much what all that's happened. We've got a new few upgrades. Like I've got a, uh, a pickaxe, which is pretty funky, and this guy's got auto smelt. I wasn't really too sure how I felt about it when I first got it because I don't. I wasn't too sure whether it would auto smelt everything and it'd get annoying. But I must admit, I actually quite like it. Like it's it's working really well. Being able to get like stone instantly and stuff. The only downside I found is that for some reason we have coal on here that when smelt it turns into carbon shards. And uh, it seems to be that every bit of coal I pick up turns into a carbon shard. And because we have luck, even though we're beating up ores, I'm still getting double and triple amounts of ores, which is wicked. Hello, I, need it. I need to breathe. I've got a bit stuffy. I know, man. That looks so weird with your like head sticking out <laughs> and stuff. <laughs> it just doesn't suit you at all. Yeah, it does. I look baller. You do look pretty baller. Oh, it's raining again. Brilliant. It's not like it doesn't rain on this server every like 10 minutes. I know, right? Is there is there still lightning rods? Uh, no, there isn't lightning rods, unfortunately. Damn it. I don't even know if Steno's Relicry's been updated so that we can uh, get that gun that makes it nice and sunny again, the sand gun. Maybe one we need, day. We need some kind of weather changing. Yeah. If you guys are wondering why there's no sound up here as well, it's because I have a sound-free room. Because I'm a minimal man, and I like my room to be at just the uh, right sound level. You just so, want to get away with farting without anyone noticing. Yep. I know your tricks. <laughs> so when I open <laughs> chest, you can kind of hear it, but it's not too bad. So we've got a sound muffler here, which does all that. And then we've got the rain muffler, which actually spans out a lot further than I thought. I only thought it would span like this room, because the sound muffler only just about does this room. But this guy, the rain muffler, like goes for ages, doesn't it? Like you just flying back and like you could hear it like halfway across the water type thing. Yeah, shame it doesn't cover lightning or, or thunder, I suppose it is. But, um, yeah, it doesn't seem to do those. But that's right. at least you can't hear the rain coming down, which is nice. Yeah. Cool beans. All right, well, let me take you on a quick little tour of the island, quickly, with our new fangled jetpacks. And then I believe we will call it an episode. While we're flying, we're going to talk about live streaming, because I think that's going to be a thing. I've said it multiple times, and I've yet to do it. Dude, I, do you want to lead the way? Because you probably know the area better than me. Well, it's just round in a circle. Who do you want to go see first? Uh, let's go see... Are we allowed to show everyone bases off? Uh, well, I have literally just recorded doing exactly the same thing, and I've popped it in the sky and said, has anyone got any objections? And so far, I've not had any objections. Okay, alright. Well, we'll start with Heather's base, which is, oh, yeah. which is pretty we'll funny. <laughs> which is this way. Sorry. Yeah. So, Heather's a friend of mine. You might have known her from Monster Tech, if you remember the Monster Tech channel that I originally started. Uh, we did a lot of uh, Daisy and Left 4 Dead and stuff like that. Uh, she's on here with us at the minute. She isn't making videos, but she pops on now and then. She really is not a Minecraft player. Like, she doesn't really understand much of it and modded stuff. She's never done modded stuff in her life, so... It's all stupidly new to her. So, Dude Art's been taking her under his uh, wing and showing off all of the... Uh, funky stuff to do with it and made her her first treehouse because is it you believe everyone must at least have one treehouse in their minecraft experience everyone's done it you must have had a treehouse at some point oh i've had a treehouse i've had multiple yeah. treehouses yeah exactly so i figured it's a good place to start yeah and also she's not too far away from us so she can come and pinch a bit of coal or whatever <laughs> i like how she's been using is this you or or has she been using jungle saplings to cook with uh oh that was me Oh. Like, too many saplings. <laughs> burn them. Awesome. So you, this you, you've missed the best bit. In fact, you need to take these out and sort it out. Come, come back up and do this thing. Oh, okay, okay. You got a rack for her booties. Yeah. <laughs> she's got a shoe collection getting started already. <laughs> she is a girl and all. You know, she's gonna she's gonna kill us for that. Yeah. <laughs> But we've got a shoe collection for her. Nice, good. I'm gonna make that a thing. So uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's gonna have one of every shoes. One of every shoes. One of every shoe, maybe. One of one pair of every shoes. One of every pair. I can't. I can't do England. Everything's exploded. <laughs> so this is Heather's house. 
She's uh, she joins now and then. Over here is what we're classing as spawn, I believe. Yeah, which this is communal, communal area. stuff. Yeah. So let me explain spawn. So we got colourful portals. Then you might have seen that from my Diamond Gear series. I love that mod because it's just simple, easy to use, and doesn't break servers in any possible way. So, because we're all going to have our own colourful portal, we all need our own colour of wool. So, Nemson and Ego have been spending their time making this wicked little sheep farm for all the different colours. And I think they've been doing it for the last couple of days continuously. It's looking wicked. And I believe that they've set up all the ch They have. And they've already got a load of wool. They've actually already got enough wool to really do the Have they finished this? Uh, not this looks finished to me. Why? There's still a bit of, like, roofing missing and stuff. Oh yeah, but it, it's pretty damn close. They were up until I think 4 a.m. last night doing it. Yeah, I was on here till like one, half one, two. About that. We left at the same time, didn't we? Yeah. About one-ish. But yeah. So that's that. Over here is Mistcraft Mountain. You might have seen this. So we've got all the ages and books set up, interlinking books to people's houses. Inside here we have the Mistcraft area. With a Nemson, who I think is AFK at the minute. Oh no, it's there. Oh no, oh no, it's spazzing about. <laughs> it's spazzing about, it's alive, it's alive! <laughs> He's like, what are these Robocop things? <laughs> oh man, look at him living in his enchanted armour. <laughs> yeah, so, living the dream. So 19th century. <laughs> oh, 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 no, he's oh. got stuff on! <laughs> Yay! He's repping the gear, love it. So this is the really Miscraft. For joy. I get stuck in the ceiling because of my jetpack. Yeah. <laughs> so this is the Miscraft area. We've got the uh, enchantment goodies and things here with an, auto, with an advanced enchantment table. And this is a colourful portal for you that have not seen the Diamond Gear Let's Play. If we run through it, it makes a funky sound. And whoop. We're in... We're in... Whose base is this? Is this Nemson's base? It is, yeah. Nemson, Ego, Tanhan, all of that. Ah, I see, okay. Alright. I'm going to have an experience, Barry, because I can. Oh! There we go. Cool beans. Ooh, you made a funky noise. I made a funky noise. <laughs> so that is Miscraft Mountain. And then let's scoot around everyone else's bases quickly. Jesus, you can go fast if you run before you go. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, so, Alright, you lead the way. Yeah, this way. Oh. You used it to crash, didn't you? Yeah, or I'll, I'll, I'll just... Flying is not enabled on this server, apparently. I think you went too high. Too oh, high? Yeah, I don't think Nem I don't think Nemson's allowed it in the config files for it. <laughs> I didn't I've... go high at all. Did you I was, not? I was lower than you, I think. Oh. I think well, I just went too fast. This is Sento's base here, who's been rushing through loads of stuff. I'm pretty sure he's recorded a lot of it, so you'll be able to see all that if you go watch his things. He's predominantly sticking with uh, Foundcraft, and I'm sure he'll get into Ars Magica at some point as well. But while Foundcraft's new, I think he's playing around yeah. with that. I, w I wouldn't look too close. I think some of this is spoilers. Uh-oh. We spoiled so, uh, things. Let's, all right. let's carry on over the hill. And this is Nemson's base, which have you already shown off, or did you just run around inside it for a bit? I literally just ran around for like two seconds. Okay. Whoop. What yeah. is this? Yeah, you're here. That's, that's like their base down in the hole, down in the mine. Oh, they're like a hobbit hole? Sort of thing, yeah. And then they've got all the berry bushes you could imagine. Yeah. Their, their nice greenhouse, which I'm quite jealous of. I know, I need to make you a better one. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, hello. Yeah, it's not looking too bad. Uh, who's based it over here? Uh, that's Ego's private um, getaway island, I believe. So this is when he's had enough of Nemson. Yeah, this is where he comes to meditate. Comes to meditate. He's got a box of rubbish and some funky coloured clay. Cute. Oh yeah, and you can get stuck in his walls. I think he's going to hide bodies in his walls. Really? Oh yeah, you can go through the... Yeah, look. Hide bodies in my walls. Oh, he's clearly not, folks. He's actually just being very economical with his blocks. Yeah, Gosh. he goes a. Uh, he's a uh, vanilla builder, isn't he? He's yeah. I think this is his first modded play. Yeah. Series for his thing. Yeah. All right, where next? 
Uh, we've gone a bit squiggly. We're kind of going back on ourselves. So let's do a really speedy run over that way. Over that way. Okay. All right. So while we're doing this, I'll talk about live streaming. So me and Doodart have been spending a lot of time on the server getting things done. And you can see that because, you know, we've uh, we've got quite a lot of things. There's a world hole there. We've got quite a lot of things done. So I'm going to start live streaming this uh, fairly often. Most nights uh, I spend my time on here. So we'll live stream and, you know, get it, get all the stuff on the, uh, on the Twitches. So I'll leave a, well, it's always in my description bar. So you can go check it out in there and uh, see all the cool things. Whose house is this? I'm in someone's house. Where did you get to? It's like a uh, big jungle tree, kind of molehill. Is this oh, mimes? That, that sounds like it could be bee pats. He hasn't I've, got too oh, much. Oh, I just got kicked with flying again. Damn <laughs> it. He hasn't got too much. All right, we'll say this is bee pats house, I think. Yeah, so we spend a lot of time on here, so I'm going to start live streaming all the stuff that we do on here. Uh, it gets me uh, Twitch credits and all that good stuff, and you know, you guys get to watch all of it, because I'm generally waiting for uh, for when all the big mod pack, the additional mod packs come in, before I start doing tons of videos on it, because you guys are going to see all of this in the Diamond Gear anyway, so there's not really any point in me covering a lot of it, so I think that's how we're going to run it. In the meantime, it's just going to be like updates and things like that until we get the main Christmas pack in, which we've started looking at, so we've got some funky Christmas mods coming around very soon, which should be pretty geared. Uh, I know there's been some Forge ones that have been talked about, we're uh, looking at snow ones, some weather biome control ones. Uh, I think Nemson was talking about getting maids, or I don't know if it's maids, I think he's talking about getting elves or something like that minions so they can do our bidding for us like having like your own elf and stuff that is some funky stuff so we might be going with that and i think we should put maids in as well because maids is like a pretty good mod because that allows you to have like little helpers type thing i think that's a thing yeah a little bit like uh formcraft uh golems is that what they're called yeah, yeah. except they're actually like little maids <laughs> <laughs> So this is... whose house is this? This is Funshine X's house, I believe. He's got a giant... giant... it looks like something out of Cube, if you've ever watched Cube. <laughs> Have you ever watched Cube do that? Yeah, yeah, with all the <laughs> nasty traps and yeah. stuff that kill you. Brilliant. Oh, it's amazing. Yeah, it kind of looks like something out of Cube, but not... it actually looks really nice. He's used loads of coloured clay, I think. Yeah, white stained clay, he's used loads of clay around it, it looks really good. Cool beans. I guess everyone's getting involved with the new clay textures and things since that all came out. Alright, so we had a little crash because at the minute I believe the uh, servers turned off for flying. So if we fly too long or something like that, it, cr it kind of kicks us. <laughs> but it has just been reset, so surely that I'm sure that will get changed soon. Oh, I, I know how he gets out of here. <laughs> I came here a minute ago and I had no idea how to get out of this place. So this is Akko's house, who's one of the new guys on here. He's called Akko the Builder. Uh, he'll be on the uh, channel with all the other new guys that we're going to show off. Uh, and this is his place. He hasn't been, he's only been on for a few days, so he's starting to do his Ars Magica. He's got a bit of Foundcraft on the go and some, uh, some funky crops and stuff. He's starting to do his croppage, which is pretty nice. And I'm guessing this will take us out of here. I feel well, nosy. Oh, this takes us to a bed. <laughs> Oh, there we go. We're out. Okay. Cool Where are we? So this is Akko's place. So let's go back through the portal and I'll take you to one of the other new guys' house. Because I believe this is a quicker way of doing it. So if we go to spawn and we'll check out Bevo, who's now joined as well. Is it is it Bevo or Bevo? Bevo, I Bevo. think. So this I'll is Bevo's man wrong. cave. Where uh, he's uh, he's only been on for a little bit as well. So... He's been doing some things. These guys pretty much all, je all joined around about three, four days ago. They haven't been on here long at all, to be honest. We've got another guy starting up soon as well, uh, who should be on here soon, who's Gar. So he'll be on here at some point. Ooh. But this is Bevo's pl Bevo's place. And Bevo, it's, uh, yeah. it's, it's looking good. Can we get back to spawn? Oh, yeah, we can. So we go to spawn. Claimed in the name of Damn Sky. <laughs> So this is Damn Sky's place. So he's only just started as well. So these guys haven't got too much stuff done. 
but I'm sure they're going to bring out some wicked videos very soon. Some of them have already bought their first couple out, and they're all on the Utopia Network, like I said, so you can go check them out there and see all their cool, funky things. Oh, there is a Kyle. There's a Kyle. Some things. Hello. World tour. <laughs> <laughs> We're boys on tour. <laughs> So there's Zap in the oil. He's pretty good because he started next to a uh, he built next to a uh, oil spout, which is pretty good. So they're doing all that sort of stuff, getting down with spicy yeah. too. Some uh, oh, they're doing a bit of uh, build craft forestry. Oh, careful! He's got a super grav gun out. He'll oh, have you. He's he's. Oh. <laughs> and that is pretty much that, I believe, for everyone's bases. If I've missed any, then I apologise. But we're getting a lot of new guys on in now, so it's uh, getting. Pretty hectic, but in a good way. And over there we have Andy's house, who's built himself a nice little wooden shack, doing all his things next to his slime mountain. It's looking good. Yeah. It is looking good. All right, guys, cool beans. So I will see you very soon for another episode. Keep sure to uh, you know check the channel because I'll be putting out uh, kind of update videos of the next few weeks, and we're going to be live streaming a lot of the stuff on Twitch as well. So make sure you go check that out. The the, the uh, link will be in the description bar to go to my Twitch channel. Yeah, All right. keep, keep an eye on the Twitters. Yeah, keep an eye on the Twitters, because that's where I let people know about when I'm going to be streaming, and then I'll post a quick video up for uh, people on the YouTube with just a link, pretty much, like a 30-second clip just saying, come over here to uh, watch the the, uh, the live antics of Utopias. Awesome. Sweet. All right, guys, I'll see you for another episode of Utopia. Have a good one. And goodbye. Bye. This is